This work describes the strategies to gender mainstreaming in engineering studies, a workshop with teachers. First, it's important to highlight that gender equality is a cross-cut goal that appears in most of the sustainable development goals. And regarding education, universities are focused on implementing the SDGs as part of their processes. What can we do through education? University students should receive training on equality. However, there is a lack of practical methodological guides on introducing these principles into teaching practices and examples of how to carry out educational activities with a gender perspective in different university areas. In this situation, we should talk about co-education. Co-education is the current political proposal to respond to the claim of equality made by feminist theory. The purpose of co-educational practice is reformulate the model of transmission of knowledge and ideas from a gender perspective in socialization spaces for training and education. There are different ways to introduce the gender perspective in university education. We can define degrees, we can include courses inside the programs, but our approach is a transversal one. So gender mainstreaming in the contents and the subjects is the main focus of our workshop. Across several editions of IEEE Global Engineering Education Conference, EDUCON, we have organized different kind of activities in order to work about gender gap in STEAM, focused mainly in engineering, and also work about women in the engineering sector. So during the last edition in 2021, the main topic of the conference was women in engineering. And in this conference, we organized the works that we describe in our work. The workshop aims to provide some guidelines to introduce gender perspective in the subject of engineering studies. Mainly, it is focused on proposed strategies to avoid gender bias. The workshop was organized in four steps. First, a presentation. We organized the workshop online, so in order to foster the interaction, we share a jam board and we organize a dynamic in order to introduce ourselves. The second step was focus on introducing the main feminine concepts, and we do this through a gamification method. We use a quiz, a short online questionnaire, gamify it in order to build the different concepts between all of the participants. The third step was focus on the soft analysis. So we analyzed the different uh, approaches related to how to work on the gender gap inside our universities, and in particular in engineering. And we do this in a collaborative way using the bioconference tool, in this case, Zoom, and Google Slide as a collaborative space. And finally, we do the conclusions. In particular, we organize a brainstorming in order to identify the main measures based on the soft analysis. And after that, we identify the main conclusions through a work cloud, use it Mentimeter to build it. The results of the swap analysis are available in our paper, so you can check it. And finally, the identified measures through the co-analysis of the participants or creation of environments where women feel a normal and part of the space, a specific workshop with the students and assistants, also courses for in-service teachers focus on your mainstreaming in engineering teaching, also fostering the family support before, during and after the engineering studies, and also starting STEM with the students at the young age, so we can try to solve the problem before the university. So thank you very much and see you online.